this video we're going to look at Android API demos and opening up some of these demos and how to work with some of the sample apps available from Android. So in my emulator I have it um, up in the home screen and I have API demos. So since I have the Android development tools installed on my computer it's giving me the option to go in and review some of the demos. Now these can be helpful because the sample code is available to you so that you can go in and look at it. A lot of times it's helpful to build by example. So if you wanted to see a working uh, version of something, you can look at how it's been created. So if I go to the API demos, it has a bunch of sub categories that we can go into. So for example, um, graphics. And once in graphics, there's a pretty extensive uh, sample listing. Uh, but a fun one to try out is finger paint. And you can go in and you can click and drag to you know, finger paint on your screen. So if you're building an app that might incorporate something like that, we can actually go in and open up that sample and look at it. Let me go back again. So to work with these, we can open up Eclipse. And we'll create um, a new Android project. So I'm just going to click on the wizard to create a new Android project. And instead of doing a new project, we're going to open a project from an existing source. And this may or may not be populated for you, but what you'll want to do is browse to where your Android development tools are unzipped on your computer. So if you don't have them, you can go to the Android website and download the developer tools. You unzip them. There's no executable files that are in them. These are just this, uh, the Android development tools. So you unzip them and you put them on your hard drive. So on a Mac, I recommend just putting them in your Applications folder. On Windows, you can put them in your Program Files folder. In any case, you'll navigate to this directory and open it up. And then you can see that we have samples. And then we have different versions, different SDK environments. So I'm just going to go with the smallest, or the lowest denominator right now. And you can see that there are a number of different samples. These are the API demos. So if you wanted to open that up, you can look at the code that's in um, those API demos. Uh, I'm going to do snake, little game here. So I can select the snake folder and then click open and it automatically gives me a name. I'm going to click Finish and can look at some of the different resources and we could look at uh, layouts and other structures of how things are set up. But to test this we can just click on the project name or the package name and uh, we'll run it and then if you it'll want to make sure that you have a virtual device that this can run on. Okay, and so we have press up, so my up on the keyboard to play. And use your arrow keys in this case to navigate it around and connect to the other little dots on the screen. But the point of this is that we could go in and look at the code. We could see our Java files that are in here. We can see what was used in order to run this game. So you can always reverse engineer uh, some of the project files that are available to you. Um, also, too, when you're working in the Package Explorer, if you want to keep this with just your most recent uh, files or packages that you're working with, you can right-click and choose Delete. 
Now when you have this delete option, you have basically two things you can do. One is just to remove it from the package explorer. It doesn't delete your files. But if you check this off to delete the contents, then it will delete them. I mean, it will actually remove them and delete them physically. So by deleting this without checking this off, I can click OK and my files will stay intact. But you can keep a list of your different packages open over to the side. All depends on how you prefer to work. So also going through those steps, create a project from an existing source. If I give you some sample code or a project that's started to work on, then uh, you can use the create project from existing source technique to open up files that uh, I may have given you or that you might get from other sources on the web as well. So that's an overview of using some of the sample files that are available through Android and uh, creating a project from the existing source.